on camera. You're about to watch a shootout in broad daylight on a busy West Milwaukee street. What you're seeing has investigators busy as they continue to search for the suspects. Justin Williams has more from near that shooting scene in West Milwaukee. Justin? Ted, right about now behind me, you may see some of the rush hour traffic here along this stretch of Greenfield Avenue. And typically, the residents here say that their primary concern involves the speeding vehicles. However, Wednesday evening, it was speeding bullets. I heard boom, boom, boom. And I thought, my God, that sounds like gunshots. The sound startled Mary Cardinal in her apartment near the intersection of 38th and Greenfield in West Milwaukee. So I got up and looked out the window. And I didn't see anybody or anything, but I could see a red car down the street. That car shows up in this surveillance video from this camera just outside of the elbow room bar next door. Watch as the car backs up before the driver gets out holding a gun in their right hand. Both that driver and another person on the sidewalk take cover as the driver appears to return fire. As that driver runs away from the vehicle, the person on the sidewalk gets into the car and drives off. Then I'm starting to watch the film and I just couldn't believe what I'm seeing here, you know. It's like watching television. Greg Picorni says he's owned the elbow room for just shy of 21 years. His parking lot borders the building next door where, from this camera angle, he believes we're able to see the other people involved in the shooting. Sometimes there's some unsavory people in and out of there, you know, and I don't know if they live there or if they're just visiting or relatives or what, but it's some shouting matches once in a while. West Milwaukee police say at least one unidentified person was injured in the shooting and several others were taken into custody for questioning. Meanwhile, Picorni hopes the bullets don't hurt business. None of my customers were involved okay. and nobody that comes in and out of here is like that. West Milwaukee's police chief, I got a chance to talk to him briefly today, and he tells me that they are actively pursuing, that department is actively pursuing a, a range of multiple leads that have come about in the last 12 or 18 hours or so. They're continuing to this investigation and they'll provide any updates as they can, but right now he says they're so busy with so many leads and other investigations that they didn't have any time to talk to us on camera. We'll obviously keep uh, tabs on this story. Right now, no one in custody. There is that one person injured. We do not have a do not have a status update on that just yet. But obviously, as we get more on this, we'll bring it to you guys. For right now, that is the latest from West Milwaukee. I'm Justin Williams, Fox 6 News. They're about to get more leads after our viewers saw that video. Justin, thank you. Yeah. West Alice.